So I think this is so interesting because someone can leave you a review on Google Maps that says this um, plumber fixed my toilet. And now ChatGPT or these other AI platforms have proof kind of how like Amazon has real product reviews from people. It can reference real reviews from people that they fixed toilets for. So I think that's going to become huge in the future, prompt aligned content. That's a very underutilized now. It's pretty much not just saying like, we offer this, but who has said which one of our customers have said that we've offered this and given us good reviews. I think that's gonna be even talks about how faceless AI generated videos rank as I just realized that my camera was off. So hey, I'm faceless, but I'm not AI, but we're still ranking. He's actually the first person that has mentioned that YouTube SEO builds trust signals within ChatGPT. It's interesting because the other people so far have said ChatGPT doesn't reference it and uh, only perplexity references YouTube. So there is overlapping information here that is contradictory. And now we are on to Vasco and he actually disagrees where he says backlinking does still matter. Meanwhile, we saw some of the other people previously say that backlinking does not matter. So I think that'll probably play more of a role um, in depending what industry you're in. I think in uh, more national accounts, I think backlinking will play a larger role. Uh, meanwhile, in more local-based businesses, it'll probably play less of a role. I think it'll uh, probably mimic that same type of style. Another interesting thing here is ChatGPT does embed faceless YouTube videos and responses. So it looks like we're going to start seeing a lot of AI uh, get pushed with video. So kind of like before where people used to have to repurpose content a lot, it looks like at the forefront of everything, someone's going to have to start off with a video and then find a million ways to repurpose it. Because again, it doesn't make any logical sense to be able to do this all by hand. You probably have to take your video, um, split it up into 20 different videos, maybe even like a podcast style of some sort. And then from there, figure out a way to make a blog post out of it, figure out a way to make social media content, just everything, just get diversified. And here we are again with another Vasco video. And you know, what's interesting is as we're going along here, I don't want to repeat content to you guys that people have already mentioned. So I'm just going to try to really stick to just the new stuff. Um, the big things here is that he's really now referenced Yelp, OpenStreet, Foursquare, Yellow Pages, and Hot Frog as new platforms to get listed on. So this guy calls it citation influence, where essentially you um, ask this prompt in to ChatGPT, like who's the cheapest plumber in Dallas, then you find all the sources for it and then list yourself within all the sources. 